During the opening, the Commission adopted the COVID-19 statement on the impact of the pandemic on all aspects of the world drug problem. There is growing evidence that the pandemic has an impact on both sides on the world drug problem, demand side and the supply side. So we try to address all those uh, issues in the statement. The joint statement adopted by the Commission today addressing the impact of the pandemic on efforts to counter the world drug problem reflects the extent of the challenges we face. It also reflects the solidarity of member states in facing them together. There is a political signal that, you know, the pandemic had an impact on the world drug problem, that member states are ready to respond, that they are ready to cooperate more. In order to put that into action, what needs to happen is that, uh, particularly the, the areas where we're talking about the drug services being essential and, um, you know, being given that kind of support, integrated within healthcare systems, funded appropriately, you know, enabled to do their work. The COVID statement calls upon member states to, to uh, continue to develop innovative approaches at the national level, at the regional level, and to also share within the Commission these uh, lessons learned. To use it as a learning experience to try and make sure that these services are better supported, um, you know, that, that drug policies are, are, are better aligned with public health and human rights commitments. So that if another pandemic was to come along, we could respond better.